Let's take a look at Landboard's I2C IO-8 card and a short demo on operating the card. The I2C IO-8 card has quite a few features. At the center of the card is the microchip MCP23008 I2C port expander. It converts the I2C interface to eight digital IO pins. On the card, there are four LEDs and four input jumpers. The four LEDs are on bits zero through three, and the jumpers are on bits four through seven. There are 1K series resistors for the LEDs so that it's not too bright when you're using it. There's a jumper block for address selection. If you install all three addresses, the card is at the base address of 0x20, hex 20. If you remove them all, it's at 27 and you can select any address in the middle. On the left side of the card, the two connectors are a daisy chain set of I to C interface connections with an interrupt line from the MCP23008. The two connectors are wired together, but you can easily daisy chain other IC to C cards without messing around with cabling. At the very top of the card is an I to C terminator jumper block, so you can terminate with 2.2K ohm resistors. The two I to C lines, if you have multiple cards, you just probably want to terminate the card at the end. There's also an onboard interrupt light on the card. Let's go ahead and load the program that does the bouncing. This version of it runs on I to C0, which is what the Pico port connected to is. And if we hit run, let's see what happens. You can see the light bouncing across the card, just like it should. Demonstrating that I to C port is working on the Pi Pico Mito 1 card. And also demonstrating the function of the I to C IO-8 card. It's a nice little I to C IO demo card. Let's run another little piece of code here and see how it works. Should be good. Next piece of code reads the shunts. There's four of them on the card and four lights. And if we put a shunt in the corresponding LED light, there's one, there's the next, there's the next, and there's the last one. So works pretty good. A pretty simple setup on the Pico Mite, Pi Pico Mite 01 card. And it's just pretty flawless I to C code running at 400 kilohertz. Just moves data back and forth quite nicely. If you want more information, you can see our wiki pages for these products and we have YouTube videos on them as well. We have a store in Tindy where we sell all of our cards. Thanks for watching our video and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.